Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the PL 300 exam preparation series where we are exploring the third learning path, visualize and analyze the data. In this video, we are going to explore the topic create custom tooltips, which is part of the section enhance reports for usability and storytelling. We have already looked at the tooltips in some of the previous videos, but now we are going to explore another topic, which is custom tooltips that how we can cre create custom tooltips and use these in the different visualization. So now let's go to the Power BI desktop environment. So in order to create a custom tooltip, the first step that you need to do is that you need to open a blank page on your report and then you have to go into the page information and here you have the option of page type. So I'm going to use this page type option and here I need to convert the standard page type to a tooltip. Once I have this, you are going to see that the canvas size has actually changed to the tooltip size. So this is the size of the standard, standard tooltip. So now this area, this white area is actually nothing because they, you cannot do anything in this area. So, so, so the, the, the canvas size is now this which is shown by these dotted lines. So this is the first thing that you need to do. And then obviously, because this is a tooltip page, so I can, in order to differentiate between the rest of the report pages, I can rename this page as, as a tooltip page. So I have given it the name tooltip one. So this is the first step that you need to do. Then you actually build everything that you want in your tooltip page as you build on a normal report page. So this is your complete canvas and you can place one uh, visualization, you can place uh, more than one visualization. So let me just quickly build a, a, a few visuals here so that my tooltip page is ready. So here I have very quickly built a very, very simple tooltip and I have placed three visuals here. So there is one card visual which shows the total quantity, one card visual which shows the total cost, and then there is a line chart that has total quantity and total cost. And on the X axis, I have my start of month. So there are three visuals that I have placed on my tooltip page. And now my tooltip page is ready. And now I need to go and configure it according to the page on the page on which I want to use this tooltip. So once you have prepared this tooltip, you can use it in multiple visuals. So you will have to go to another report page and configure that report page in order to use that tooltip. So now let's go and do that. So here I am on another report page and here I have a visual which is a simple bar chart which shows total cost by product brand. So what I want to do is that I want to configure my tooltip. So currently the tooltip with the default tooltip is showing me the product brand and the total cost. So now I want that instead of this, this uh, native tooltip or this tooltip which is the default tool tooltip, I want to actually have my own tooltip shown once I actually hover on this particular visual. So for that, you have to actually go and click on the properties area for this particular visual. And then you have the tooltip obviously is enabled, but it is now enabled for the default value. But now I am going to go and I'm going to change the page. So the report page is not auto, it is now the tooltip one. So now if I come here, then you are going to see that all the values here are now getting filtered on my new tooltip. So now I see my new tooltip. So here you can see that I have the total quantity related to this product brand and the total cost and then the trend of total cost and total, total, um, total uh, quantity over the over the time so it is showing me the information for all my product brands and this tooltip can be configured for any visual that i want and you can have one tooltip configured per visual and you can have multiple tooltips so you can have uh, maybe i can create another tooltip for this visual so there is no restriction if i want to create tooltip so this is a very 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 powerful feature because it allows the report users to actually view more data while they are interacting with the report by just hovering their mouse over the over the report over the visual they can go and have more insights and see more data than that is possible within a single visual 
so this is how you can create a custom tool tip very easy and uh, uh, you should uh, actually be using the tool to these tool tips in your day to day working as well so that's all for this particular video and i'll catch up with you in the next one